In this video, we'll be discovering some of the best open source apps for Android. So let's get started. When it comes to open source apps, we simply cannot overlook F-Droid. It's the go-to hub for downloading open source apps. F-Droid is an app store where you'll find thousands of free and open source applications to download. F-Droid offers a repository of open source apps with no user tracking or data collection. It provides free, ad-free apps without requiring an account. Users benefit from automatic updates, support for multiple repositories, security and integrity verification, access to older app versions, and full transparency with build information. You can download this app directly from its official website at fdroid.org. Next, we have J2ME Loader. This Android app lets you run classic Java mobile games and applications right on your device. If you're feeling nostalgic for the early 2000s, this app is perfect for bringing those old-school mobile experiences back to life. It offers smooth emulation with customizable controls and excellent compatibility across a wide range of Java-based apps. You can download J2ME Loader from the Google Play Store or F-Droid. After downloading the app, you'll need to find your favorite Java apps online. A great resource for this is PhoneKai.com, where you can easily download those classic Java apps. Find the Java apps or games you want and download them. Let me grab a few myself. You can also use the search function for a quick find. Once you've downloaded your apps, open the J2ME Loader app. Click the plus button to add your downloaded apps. After adding them, click the Start button. Here you can customize settings such as screen size, orientation, and graphics mode. Or leave all the settings as default and click Start. Your game will begin. In the same way, you can add your other downloaded games and start playing. Next is Local Send, an app that lets you securely share files over a local Wi-Fi network without needing an internet connection. It's cross-platform and uses HTTPS encryption, making it a fast and private way to transfer files directly between devices. When you open the Local Send app, it automatically detects all devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The app requires no special permissions. Just install it and start using it. You'll get decent transfer speeds, making it a handy tool for quick file sharing. While it might not be your first choice for transferring large files, it's super convenient and works seamlessly across all operating systems. On your Android device, you can download it from the Google Play Store, and it's also available on F-Droid. To get it on other devices, just open your browser and visit localsend.org. Click the download button and choose the version that suits your device. Next app on our list is Easter Eggs, an app that lets you explore hidden Easter eggs from every Android version, from Android 1.0 to the latest Android 14. If you're an Android enthusiast, you should definitely try this app. Now let's check out some of the Easter Eggs.
The app also offers both dark and light themes. It also has an option to view the timeline of every Android release so you can see which version came out in which year. Lastly, let's look at the widgets that this app offers. Open your widget panel and find Easter eggs in the widget list. Here are a few widgets that come with the app. This clock widget is one of my favorites. Let's add it to the home screen. Resize the widget as you like, and there you have it, your new clock widget. Heliboard is an open source keyboard that prioritizes your privacy. It doesn't track or take any data, doesn't use internet permissions, and works 100% offline. Unlike Google Keyboard, which collects data and sends it to Google servers, while you can limit data collection in Gboard settings. But if you're privacy focused and want a better alternative to Gboard, Heliboard might be the perfect choice for you. You can download the app from F-Droid. Once downloaded, set up your new keyboard and start using it. Heliboard supports a variety of languages, making it flexible for users around the world. It also offers customizable themes, so you can tweak the keyboard's look to fit your style. Heliboard includes a forced incognito mode, which ensures that the keyboard won't learn or adapt to your typed words, maintaining your privacy at all times. Heliboard offers a handy toolbar that lets you recover accidentally erased words. It includes undo and redo buttons, making it easy to correct mistakes quickly. It also has more features like a clipboard that can store multiple copied text, and a word selection icon. With a simple tap, you can easily select words without the need for long pressing and dragging to highlight the text. The app also offers a split mode, dividing the keyboard into two parts, making typing more comfortable on larger screen devices like tablets. That's all for Heliboard. Now let's move on to the next app. Evil Spin, which you can download from F-Droid. This is a fun app that lets you decide which food to eat today. Simply open the Evil Spin app, add your food items to Spin Wheel, and spin the wheel. Another use case for this app is when you're playing Ludo with your friends and you lose your dice. But no worries, you have the spin wheel, which you can also use as a dice. Give it a try and see how it can add a fun twist to your game. Our next app is Button Mapper. While it's not open source, it's so useful that we had to include it here. Almost every smartphone today comes with volume up and volume down buttons, which are great, but what if you want to perform different actions with these buttons instead of just controlling the volume? I discovered this app a long time ago when my phone's back button wasn't working properly. I was searching for an app to fix that issue, and that's when I found Button Mapper. With this app, I was able to use the volume button as the back button on my device. This app doesn't gather any personal info and is completely ad-free. This app requires accessibility permission to work properly. Just click Open Settings and enable the accessibility permission. Once done, you're ready to start using the app. In the Button Mapper app, you'll see your volume buttons listed, allowing you to customize their actions according to your preference. To begin customizing the Volume Up button, first, enable the Customize toggle. Here you can select actions like what to do on single press the button. Let's set it to Screenshot. Similarly, you can set what to do when double tap or double pressing the button. We will set it for System Settings. We'll leave the Long Press action as the default for volume control. Now try it out. A single press of the volume up button captures a screenshot. Double pressing opens the system settings and a long pressing of the button will still control the volume. 
With just one button, you're able to take screenshots, access system settings, and control the volume. How cool is that? That wraps up our list of the seven best open source apps. If there's any app you think we should have included, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful and informative. Catch you in the next one. Meanwhile, check out some of my other videos and keep learning something new.